Good morning, Joe Tone, Ops Trainee with PNW2. Uh, thank you very much for all the work that's been going in uh, both days and nights. The transition between days and nights has been seamless. Um, the, the day folks the last couple days have been putting fire on the ground, the night's just been going in, um, picking up the firing, continuing as long as they can, and rotating right back into days, picking up uh, some pieces that they didn't get wrapped up at night, grabbing a hold of it in order to meet these management objectives, right? Um, so as a reminder, our priority objectives uh, for the forest here um, and DNR is to lock off this southeast corner, is to get this to be a secured edge. This is our priority number one with our values at risk. Um, down in Natchez, that Highway 12 corridor, um, and then that 410 corridor. So uh, continued work throughout. Um, you'll notice those task purpose end states and all the 204s um, drive this as those priorities so we can get them listed out. Um, to capture what went on last night and then go into today's plan, uh, Night Shift was able to do some additional burning. Um, so they took it north on this line and they got it all the way up um, to the dozer line and, and shut it down last night just based upon conditions. Um, so that looks really good. They continue to do the patrol monitor stuff up into the north um, throughout the night. Today's plan, uh, Alpha is gonna do some additional monitoring of that Cougar Flats area and the Goose Prairie where that fire has been active right up against the, uh, the river and the road there. Uh, Division Delta, um, some finishing touches on their dozer line in there and start the plumbing show um, for that protection line. Uh, Echo continues um, with some structure prep and a little bit of line left in there. Foxtrot, um, same and some, they're really gonna pick up this chunk of ground from hotel. So they're gonna be working with hotel closely today um, as we get the heavy equipment necessary in there. Um, as this fire continues to wanna drop down into section three, um, looking in the coming days about having to burn this um, as, a, as an option uh, for the best protection in here to keep this fire from turning and wanting to go south. So otherwise hotel is looking really good. We're gonna look at um, shifting more of those resources in the coming days um, to fill in holes. It'll start to occur as people time out. Division November today down in branch two, they're gonna look at opportunities to use that UAS, that firing drone to fill in some of this stuff um, where they can. They're gonna get up there, look at the weather, look at the conditions. If the opportunity's right, they're gonna try to fill in more of that fire in there. Uh, continued work from uh, November west into Oscar and then Oscar uh, to the east so they can tie this in. They got about 3.2 miles of, of mechanical work in there as well as hand work to finish up these, these lines um, on the south. Zulu is going to continue with uh, a little more structure stuff helping out the south structure group um, as well as start to uh, mechanical work on the southern lines dropping down into Highway 12. Um, we wanna look real hard at burning um, the 199 section today. It's the right topography. Um, if the weather comes into alignment, we have all the right resources out there. Um, so what we're gonna have is a firing operation going on over here, a firing operation going on over here. Um, anytime we got most of those, that's gonna be a competition for, for aircraft and all those other things. So it's a lot of coordination amongst you out on the ground. Um, and as the fire behavior has picked up the last couple days, um, and it's forecasted to pick up even more this weekend. Uh, just be alert, you know, the fire hasn't put on a lot of acres at all, um, any of the last few periods. So uh, complacency can be a thing and get set in. So if this thing starts to develop some columns, it deserves a look, right? Um, don't assume somebody else is looking at it. It does deserve our time and attention and look. Uh, we do expect additional growth up, up here. Um, that is uh, something that we're looking at close with, with field operations and our aerial resources as air attacks out there flying around. Um, and continued stuff, but we don't have our folks out here um, in accessible wilderness um, and we'll continue uh, to, to look at this, um, work with the IC group and the agency administrators as, as to what's happening out here. Thank you very much and have a good day.